continuing on. Seven. Seven is, well, let me copy it down. To me, this is like a prototypical example of a limit comparison test problem. As n gets big, the numerator will look like its leading term, and the denominator will look like its leading term. And this series should look like this. And if we add summation in front of that, this is a convergent P series. So if this series really does look like this series and this series converges, then this series converges. But to use the limit comparison test, which is what we're talking about here, we have to actually take the limit of these ratios and demonstrate that we get a finite positive number. Um, if, if the leading terms, I mean, if the degrees of a rational function um, in the numerator and the denominator are the same, there's a horizontal asymptote, a more calculated the C way of doing this limit would be that the numerator goes to infinity, the denominator goes to infinity, and we'll use L'Hopital's rule a few times. Numerator and denominator still go to infinity. Use L'Hopital's rule one more time. The ends cancel. Six over six is one. And because one is greater than zero, this converging makes that converge. Now, eight is another one of those things that straightforward once you get to the right test but it might not be immediately obvious what test to use. However, when I look at eight and I look at this sum, what I think is that e to the negative 2n should be easy to integrate. And if we can integrate this, then we can use the integral test. So we'll define the integral, or we'll find the integral from our lower bound doesn't really matter. Let's say from one to infinity of e to the negative 2n dn. It's the limit as k goes to infinity of, let's do a few steps at once here. 
here's the antiderivative and we replace this infinite limit with a k that's going to infinity. What this limit is might not be immediately obvious, but remember that negative exponents go into the denominator. And as, sorry, we need to actually replace n with this upper bound. And as k goes to infinity, e to the 2k goes to infinity. And one divided by infinity is zero. So this integral converges. So this series. converges via the integral test. Problem nine, I think I'm gonna try the limit comparison test again here. My argument informally is that this exponential function is so big this three might as well not to be there. And if that three weren't there, this series would be a geometric converging series. So I'll make the observation that two to the n over four to the n converges because it's a geometric. And now I have to try to solidify the idea that these series are actually similar using the limit comparison test. I need to take the limit as n goes to infinity of this ratio. Let's see, four to the n times two to the n over two to the n times three plus four to the n. This might be trickier than I thought. Yeah, I'm, there's probably a way to finish out like this, but taking this limit as n goes to infinity isn't trivial. You use L'Hopital's rule, but when you take the derivatives of the numerator and the denominator, you're going to keep getting these exponential expressions. The numerator and the denominator aren't really going to simplify. So back to the drawing board. Let's try something else. Three plus four to the n 
is certainly greater than four to the n. Here we go. So, um, so one over three plus four to the n is less than one over four to the n. And one is certainly less than two to the n. So the limit comparison test ended up being kind of a mess, but the regular comparison test pulls through. This converges, it's geometric. So the smaller series converges.